This week on New Mexico in Focus, a year of promise transformed in the midst of a pandemic. We're not only talking about loss of education, right? Schools were where you caught things like um, child abuse or learning disabilities and that those services are now, you know, up in the air. Plus, a reckoning in the making for New Mexico's military legacy as the extent of groundwater contamination is brought into the light. New Mexico in Focus starts now. Thanks for joining us this week. I'm your host, Gene Grant. 2020 started with such promise, didn't it? State coffers were flush, the Permian Basin was booming, and lawmakers were awash in optimism. Just three months later, and people were locked down in their homes, isolated from friends and family in the midst of a health threat unlike any of us have ever seen. And the COVID-19 outbreak continues to threaten our lives, health, and livelihoods as we bring this year to a close. This week on the show, we'll take a walk down memory lane as we recap some of the biggest stories of the year that was. Plus, the COVID-19 outbreak has left many of us diving back into the bookshelf. We're searching for new content to stream as we shelter in place. And as we'll learn, that can include folks who put new spins on the old classics. How Shakespeare is getting new life in the year 2020. And we'll check in on our groundwater war investigation looking at contamination tied to seven military installations in our state. The PFAS problem really points out the true challenges inherent in our state's long and storied military legacy. But we begin this week with our countdown of the top 10 stories of 2020. <laughs> 